guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Sov. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. For today's video, we are using and reviewing the Jeffree Star Cremated Palette. And I've also got the Shane Dawson Gloss. Now, before I get started, I just want to say that I know there is a lot of controversy going on with regards to Jeffree again. Um, I'm not, I don't want any nasty comments, they will just be deleted. Anything to do with his past or anything to do with that, I'm just here purely to review this palette. I have a lot of Jeffree's makeup, it is good quality, but I know that what he has said in the past is pretty bad and I'm not disputing that at all. I'm not saying that anything is done, it's right, I'm just saying I'm just here. To review the makeup that is all i don't want any drama i'm not entering myself into any drama at all i'm just here to put some makeup on my face for the first time in ages and see how it does and yeah so without further ado let me just get my tea um let's get on into it so i have already done my base i've used my fenty foundation my makeup revolution concealer i've used benefit on my eyebrows too faced bronzer nars orgasm blush um the anastasia nicole collab uh highlighter and the laura mercier setting powder so now that you're all caught up i've just remembered that i don't have my eyeshadow base with me be back in a second eyes back Oh, and if you can hear any snoring, that's just my dog, he's sat next to me. But anyways, into the video. Here is the Cremated Palette um, Outer Packaging. Um, I'm sure everyone's seen it by now, it's been around for a little while. I was going to review it when it first came out, but they didn't have it available for UK because of Corona and stuff. So, now that it's on Beauty Bay, my boyfriend did kindly get it for me as one of the controversy palette, but I'll do that in a separate video. Um, but yeah, so I did want to get my hands on it as soon as it came out, but it wasn't available in the UK, so I couldn't, and I was very sad about that, but we got it now. So that is the outer packaging, and then obviously you can see his kind of face between the letters, where it's been cut out. And then this is the actual palette packaging. It's not massive. I think it's about the same size as the Jawbreaker one, if not a little bit smaller. Um, so it is slightly more travel friendly, but it's still a bit bulky. But if it's got, I mean, if the colour range is like pretty much all you wear, then this would be the perfect palette to just take with you without having to take loads of other ones. So this is Miss Jeffrey Star. And then you open it up, it's just got a magnetic um, thing on it. And you open up and it is my gothic gr dream look at those metallics in there as well so as you can see it's called cremated it was always going to be ashy tones um he did describe it as like a gothic -y sort of vibe this is literally my personality in a makeup palette i always said to connor if i ever made a makeup palette it would probably be all like gothy tones and this is exactly what what you expect now, I know this palette also got a lot of backlash, but I am obsessed with it. Just the colour story is, like, perfect to me. There was always going to be people that don't like it because it is quite a dark palette. But, I mean, that's what I want. That's what I need. That is... This is me in a palette. So, I'm just going to swatch a few shades. So, I'm going to swatch Last Look. Oh, my God, that feels so nice. Um, I'm going to go for Solemnly Swear, which is a matte. And I'm going to go for Pool Bearer. And I did three swirls in each one. So this one is Last Look. That is insane. Oh my goodness. That's incredible. Uh, this is Solemnly Swear. It's a nice grey ashy tone. As you can see, very pigmented one swipe did not go over it again and this one is the glittery one which is more it's more chunkier than the last look and this is pool bearer so you have a nice light glittery tone there so 
let's get it on our face. I'm gonna use the P. Louise base in 02, which was, I think this is the original one she came out with. And I'm literally just gonna pop it, a little dot on each eyelid. And then what I normally do when I have clean hands is just dab it in with my finger. So I feel like it distributes it distributes it the best. And um, if you use a sponge, normally the sponge absorbs quite a lot of the tackiness. So if you do it with your finger, there's still enough tackiness to um, allow your eyeshadows to stick. I also sometimes do go in with a brush just to really pat it down. Sometimes I do the brush first, like I'm doing on this side, and then I go back in with my finger. Although I love the color story of this palette, it does scare me a little bit, because it means you do do dark looks. So, I'm just trying to think what to go in with first. We're gonna go into our, I'm gonna do our transition shades first, and I'm gonna go with Last Respects, which is this, almost grey, grey brown toned colour here and I'm just going to pop that there is some fallout in the pan as you can see just there that little clump is fallout <laughs> but to be fair I'm never mad at fallout unless it's on my face so I am literally just going to run that through my crease and up towards the brow Okay, so that has come out quite light, but I don't know if that's because I tapped the brush off or not. Because a lot does come off when you tap it. But it is a really nice, um, cool toned transition shade. As you can see, it adds a really nice shadow to your lid. I have a hooded eyelid. My looks are always a lot harder on my lids. Um, because you just can't really see them that well. But... You can still get creative, you just need to work with your eyes rather than against it. I also want to apologise for the lack of beauty posts lately. I've been going through another mental health rough patch, so I've not really wanted to put makeup on and stuff. So I haven't really done the beauty ones, that's why I've mainly done the gaming one. Okay, now we're going to darken the... Um, the crease and we're going to go in with i'm going to do a purpley shade so i'm going to go in with solemnly swear which is the one that i swatched on my hand and i'm going in with a little brush i'm just going to dab that in tap it off and i'm literally going to put that straight into my outer corner and then lightly run it through it i say lightly i go in quite hard because i've got hooded lids it's really easy for me to get into the crease because my crease is quite like prominent so you just put the brush right in your crease and just run it backwards and forwards like a windscreen riper as you can see it's now added more shadow to my inner lid and i have to say i'm actually loving how this looks like i said i normally get really scared when using darker colors because once they go wrong it's really hard to come back from it. I probably will end up with two different looking eyes because my left eye never goes the same as my right eye and I don't know why. <laughs> Does anyone else have that problem? See, this one's quite, to be fair I have gone in quite a few times. The other one's quite dark compared to this one so I'm just gonna add a bit more. I love how I've gone with really minimal like makeup, makeup, like the face, the base and then my eyes are just gonna be like a smoky dream. Because that is what this palette is about. Smoky eye, eye looks, basically. Okay. So now, I'm debating whether to add another darker colour or just to... No, I'm going to cut the crease. I'm going to attempt to cut the crease. With my Morphe flat brush. I'm just going to pop a little bit of our base onto the brush. I don't really need to cut it out that much because we haven't really put that much on the eyelid. But, when you cut your crease, you want to follow your crease line and then blend it out from there. You can obviously take it higher or make it less, depending on what you want to do with your look. But I normally just follow my natural crease. 
So now it's cut, you can see that it's light here from the uh, P. Louise base. So we're gonna get a flat brush. I've got the Morphe Jeffree Star JS Tan here, which has got a little bit on from the last time I used it. Um, first of all, I'm gonna try it with a wet brush and then I'll probably go in with my finger because I find that it works better. So I'm just spraying it with the Peachy Mess Mattifying Setting Spray by Too Faced and what colour shall we go with? I'm gonna go with Last Look which is again the shimmer that I swatched on my hand and I'm just gonna coat our brush in it tap it off a little bit into the pan and then I'm just gonna put that oh wow okay so this is actually working really well i normally have trouble with shimmers and brushes i feel like sometimes they just don't come off the way they should compared to when you use your finger but this one is working really nice i probably will still go over it with my finger but it is working nicely that's nothing against like any palettes that i use i just find that pretty much all shimmers that i use on my eyes I use with my finger because it does, it just performs better. Although sometimes I find that they don't stick as well. I am slightly regretting the colour. I mean, the pigment and the formula is amazing, but for this look, I probably shouldn't have gone with this colour, but that is fine. And we are going to darken the, the corners again. So, now that I've got my, I'm just going to go over it quickly with my finger. And now that I've got my shimmer on i'm going to go back in with the same smaller brush with our corner shade and run that back through to tidy up the edges because you don't want it to look like you've just pieced each part together you want it to look blended so that it's seamless i think this is it so far i think it is looking really nice actually it's a very going out out look but you know what we're not going out anywhere because corona probably go to the shop later but that is about it <laughs> um and then we are going to take an even smaller brush and i'm going to go in with grave digger which is this dark gray up at the top here Wait, where are we looking yeah here and i'm going to put that right on the outer corner and the same on the other side so there is a little bit of fallout on my face, um, which is not my favourite thing, but it has swooped away without leaving loads of marks, so that is a good thing. And I'm just going to go in with our um, Last Respect, which was the transition shade, and I'm just going to buff it out. And then on the very lower lash line, I'm going to take the blackest one in here, which is her, and I'm going to put that along my lash line. And here we are. And just quickly, I'm also going to add this bright white shimmer called Diamond Lashes here. And I'm going to put that, put that right in my inner corner as my corner highlight. And I immediately regret it because it's got a really weird texture to it. And there we go. So this is a finished eyeshadow look. I'm just going to put on my mascara and my eyeliner and take my hair out of these bunny ears and then I will be right back for the gloss. Okay, before I do my eyeliner and mascara, I just wanna show you this cool thing I have. So I'm gonna set my face because I always set my face before I do my mascara and I'm setting it with the same Too Faced setting spray. You know when you do that and you just think, this is taking too long to dry? Well, let me show you the coolest thing I've brought during quarantine. This is a air fry little handheld fan. And you just press this button here. And you can press it three times, so it's got three speeds. And then you just dry your face. How cool is that? I got it from B&M and it was like $3.99 or something. And you, it comes with a little stand. So you can stand it on your vanity table, wherever you get ready and it charges via a USB cable that you get. You can just plug into your iPhone plug, or phone plug, whatever thing you've got. And yeah, and now my face is dry. And then you just go, whoop. 
But yeah, this is the coolest thing I bought during the whole quarantine. Anyway, now I'm going to do my mascara and my eyeliner and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. And this is the final look for my eyeliner. I used the Huda Beauty double-ended eyeliner where you have a pencil and a liquid liner. And then for my mascara, I use the Bare Minerals Lash Topia because I am obsessed with that mascara. Mascara? <laughs> mascara. But yeah, so this is the final look for the eyes. Um, we still need to try the lip gloss actually before we start reviewing so this is the shane and jeffrey um collaboration gloss it is the gloss the root beer clear one um and yeah i'm just gonna try it out i thought i would finish my look with a lip gloss because i mean i've got really dramatic eyes so i don't really need a dramatic lip so hmm. okay so Back when I reviewed the Bloodlust collection and I had that lip gloss, I said that I really liked the formula, but the colour was not for me. So now, this gloss is my favourite out of the two because it's got the same formula, it feels so nourishing on your lips, and it's clear. So, it's a win-win for me, and it does smell... I've never had root beer, so I can't say that that's what it smells like, but it smells like something, and it does smell different to the normal Jeffree Star lip gloss. So I really love his lip glosses, um, that is a 10 out of 10 for me, I don't really need to talk about that much. As you can see it's just a clear gloss. I, I would love it if they brought out a plumping version, because I'm obsessed with plumping lip glosses, don't at me. But I'll settle for that one because that one is really nice, it just feels, it feels not sticky but it feels like it's moisturising your lips, which I am all for because my lips are horrible. As for the palette, I mean... I am super happy with this look. I love how it turned out. All the formulas are really easy, like so easy to blend. Considering they're dark colours, so they can be quite scary, they are so easy to deal with and like work with. I just love the shimmers are incredible. The colour story is my favourite. That that's just a personal like preference. I like the darker and neutral looks. Um but yeah, so if you want something, you love doing smoky eyes, if you love being gothic-y, if you love just darker and... It does have neutral colours in it, so if you like just neutral into darks where you can create smoky, like dark smoky looks, like going out out smoky looks and daytime smoky looks, this is such a good palette. It is pricey, it is £55, but to me it's definitely worth it um, compared to some other palettes that are... The same price if not pricier and they are not so worth it you get a mirror which just has a film on it that you can peel off which i'm not gonna peel off yet and yeah i just i really do love this palette that's not even me being biased because i like most of his makeup like i said last time i reviewed something i wasn't too keen on the lip glosses for bloodlust but that was just a personal preference but i do really adore this palette and this will probably go everywhere with me because it is my new thing so yeah i really really do like this product and i would highly recommend but again i don't want any drama on my channel to do with his life and all the controversy and stuff i'm just here to review his makeup that is all that is all okay so the collection well i can't really go on the collection because i only got the palette but the palette is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me again i am obsessed with my makeup look today i normally get so scared by these looks but i genuinely love it so yeah it's a big thumbs up from me and that is all for today guys so don't forget to give me a like and subscribe and don't miss out on all my other beauty related stuff because i'm starting to get back into it i am still going to be gaming and doing lifestyle vids i still need to sort out my whole like true crime situation if there's any other makeup releases that you want me to order and test out for you guys i will probably do that because that is what i spend all my money on most of the time i'm planning on doing a amazon finds video as well so that should be coming soon but yeah bye